guys, so uh, I want to talk about uh, paper wasps today because uh, I learned something new about them today and uh, normally I don't like bees or wasps or anything that stings me because when I get stung I swell up really really big. I got stung on my finger once and my finger got so big and the skin was so tight and expanded I, I thought it was going to just pop and burst. It was disgusting. Uh, gets all hard and ugh. So I'm not a big fan of bees or stinging animals. Um, but I saw this paper wasp nest going up here in the roof of my house. See it up there? And uh, wasn't too concerned about it because they're not like swarming or dive bombing me or anything. Um, but I wanted to, I had seen wasp every now and then like flying up and down the vertical column I guess you could say about my plants and it looked like they were looking for stuff in the leaves and I didn't know what they were doing and people always talk about ladybugs beneficial insects um, I'd never heard anything about a wasp at least not a paper wasp so I did some research and they just kind of they check every single leaf and they just look for caterpillars and caterpillars are really the only bug that I've had a problem with so far in my garden. They were devouring the leaves and then they started into my green tomatoes, which is not cool. So these wasps, wasps are more than welcome to stay now because they are actually very beneficial garden bugs. Uh, they eat pests like all different kinds of caterpillars, even the tomato hornworm, which is my mortal enemy. <laughs> Uh, but all different kinds of caterpillars, and uh, they, well they, actually they don't eat the caterpillar, uh, they take kind of a piece of it off, <laughs> and they take it up to their babies, and that's what they feed their babies with until they seal over the comb where their baby is, and then it grows into a poop or whatever. The wasps themselves um, actually eat, like, nectar and, and sweet things. Um, but they feed the caterpillars to their babies. So that's why you don't want to destroy the nest because that's where the babies are. So if they don't have any babies, then they don't have any babies to feed. They're not gonna go get caterpillars. So here is a, I'm gonna try to get a close up of the nest here. Okay, there, got it to focus. So you can see the paper wasps up there, right by my garden. They're making some babies, some pupas, I think they're called. A paper wasp by your garden are a good thing. Um, and I'm actually standing right under their nest up here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I haven't been stung once. If I did get stung, I would have more of a problem with them being here. But I read that they're actually pretty docile. And the only time they uh, sting is if their nest feels threatened. So, or if you threaten them, like hit them or something. Um, but other than that, then they can actually uh, kind of regulate how badly they sting. So if it's just a small threat, they might just sting you a little bit. Or if they really want to do some damage, they can. So that's kind of interesting too, that they can love change how bad of a sting they give you. Um, and there's one flying around right now. So yeah, they're always working, always checking for caterpillars. And I, I guess if they don't find caterpillars, Maybe they eat other stuff too, other pests, so um, I'm happy they're here and they can stay as long as the season lasts them. They die off in the winter when it gets cold, so they won't be here in the winter, but uh, those are paper wasps and they are beneficial insects to have around the garden.